Okay, so on this 2015 Dodge Ram 3500, we finished the overhaul. Um, was taking on a test drive, of course, after the overhaul. Uh, performed a quick learn with a scan tool, uh, which I'll get into a little later. Uh, driving it down a block so it can initially start learning and adapting. And a little bit into the road test, you know, coming down to a stop, had a little bit of a hard downshift. And, you know, still driving it all of a sudden, check engine light pops on, so I turn around, head back to the shop. And I have uh, stored in the transmission a P0871, which is overdrive pressure switch rationality. Okay, now this originally, that code was in there when this first job came in along with other codes such as gear ratio errors in fifth and sixth. This thing had a big issue, uh, pretty much fourth gear and up. Uh, found the overdrive clutch just smoked on it. But as far as the 871 goes, what that code means is the overdrive pressure switch, <clears throat> all right, um, has to open and close at certain times. So the overdrive pressure switch is open in reverse and it's also open in first, second, and third. And it's closed in fourth, fifth, and sixth. So for instance, if it uh, closes in third gear, you know, it's gonna flag a code because it's supposed to be open. So it's either open and closed at the wrong time in any given gear. Um, and what can cause this? A uh, bunch of things, the, over, the overdrive uh, pressure switch wire can be shorted to ground, it can be shorted to another circuit, uh, low line pressure, um, something in the transmission like a bleed orifice missing, a piston cut, uh, valve body issues, solenoid switch valves, which is pretty much what's going on with this one, which I'll get to. Um, related, uh, it can show up because of other diagnostic trouble codes. So, <clears throat> But what's going on with this one, the most common uh, with this 68 RFE, all right, also it could be a solenoid pack, of course, as well. Um, so after uh, doing some research and some testing and stuff like that, it came, everything pointed back to the valve body. So either with this particular code on this particular transmission, um, we can have a worn solenoid switch valve, which basically wears out on a lot of these cars, um, or we're dealing with possibly a worn channel plate in the valve body, and when it gets hot, we're getting cross leaks. All right, driving, actually driving this car, uh, watching the overdrive pressure switch when it really started to act up, um, I did see it it was in third gear, and right before commanded fourth, I, the, the switch was actually closed, and then it commanded fourth. So we got something going on. Um, but uh, doing some research and running some tests, it seems that, you know, because I basically tapped into the overdrive wire, which is very easy because it's open on the bottom, and, you know, coming right off of the switch, you know, the switch is closing. So that would lead me to an internal problem. And doing some research on this, uh, the most common thing that happens for this particular code is a valve body issue. Okay, the channel plate of the valve body uh, can warp, cause cross leaks, solenoid switch valve worn out uh, also uh, can cause this code. So the best fix for this thing is a brand new OE valve body uh, from the dealer, which I get through my supplier. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up shot of this. And this is going to be installed. Um, now I wanna talk real quick about the solenoid packs. Okay, they are actually, depending on the year, there actually are three different ones. This transmission came out uh, around 99 and it came through with a black solenoid pack and then it was uh, around 04 they came out with the white with the white color which basically can be used on anything all right and then 11 and up is gray and this can only be used on 11 and up because of the configuration of the valve body they 
eliminated on the solenoid pack. They eliminated the uh, overdrive uh, solenoid and two check balls in the valve. Okay, so uh, first of all, like going back for a moment, um, this white uh, connector uh, can be used on 99 and up. But if it's used on 99 to 03, you got to put this uh, cam plate or slide plate in with it. Otherwise, you will produce a code. All right. Uh, other than that, it can be used uh, all the way up to. I've even had it on this one, 2015, which is fine. It, it worked okay. But my problem again uh, is a valve body issue. Now, talking about the uh, gray connector, uh, again, 11 and up only. If you put this on an earlier one, uh, because they eliminated the overdrive solenoid, uh, the computer on the earlier models is going to be looking for that, and if it's not there, it's going to flag a code for an overdrive solenoid. So I think what this does, I think the way they configured this solenoid pack is they used a multi-select solenoid for the overdrive solenoid because of the design of the valve body. And once you buy this valve body uh, from, from the dealer or from a part supplier, it should come with this paper explaining everything with the solenoid bags. <clears throat> and again, you know, these overdrive clutches were, were fried here, and the four C clutches, uh, the CPI was 18, so that's way, way low. That's why you have to do these quick learns when uh, you get done with these jobs. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is just give you guys a close-up shot of this stuff, and then I'm going to proceed to install the uh, new OE valve body with solenoid pack uh, in the car. We're going to clear all the codes out. We're going to give it another quick learn because I got a, a whole different setup in here. And we're going to take it for a test drive, and, and I'm pretty confident that that will uh, cure the problem. So let me get a little closer, and I will give you a shot of, uh, of these valve bodies. I want to show you these frictions again. And just a quick note on quick learning. Uh, anytime you change the solenoid pack and stuff like that, they recommend that you do a quick learn. Um, again, with this one, with the, with the wiped out overdrive frictions, and you continue to drive it like that, you could do damage to the new clutches because, again, these things adapt. Um, these things go by uh, the CBI value, the clutch volume index, <clears throat> and that is represented by a number, and basically that's from the time that, they, uh, that the computer starts to apply the clutch to the time that it's fully applied. So, of course, if the clutch is worn, it's going to start, it's going to know that, uh, because these numbers sometimes they constantly change as the clutch wears but uh, as the clutch wears it'll start to apply the clutch earlier to compensate up so the transmission doesn't flare or slip so just say you have you know an overdrive clutch like this <clears throat> and you go ahead and rebuild the unit with brand new clutches and now the clearance is not what it used to be so if you do not quick learn it, you're gonna drive this thing and you're probably gonna get a bind up on the three, four shift. And eventually it's not gonna really work itself out. You're gonna wipe the clutch out before it probably works itself out. So quick learning is an absolute must uh, after rebuild on, on any of these 604s, 606s, 42 RLEs, <clears throat> really has to be done very, very important. And 62 TEs as well. Um, uh, after overhaul, uh, the transmission may work okay, but um, on, on one of my friend's cars that had it done, I think he actually had bought the car right after they put a transmission in it or something like that, and he do call me up, he said occasionally he would give a, a hard engagement and drive. Not all the time, but ever since he owned the car, it would do it. So I said, let me see it, you know, let me take a look at it. So I didn't really see anything wrong. I did feel the problem, and I hit it with a quick learn. And to this day, which has been about four or five months, uh, I actually just spoke to him the other day, and he and I asked him how it was, and he said it's been fine. Whatever you did, what you did, it's been fine. So it's very, very important to do these quick learns. 
so let me get a little closer. We'll go over these valve bodies. And then I gotta get this thing done because this guy's looking for the car. So I will be right back. Okay. There's the number. Uh, he didn't really ask me for a part number, basically because if it's a 68 RFE, um, 2011 and up, you know, you know it's going to take the gray <clears throat> solenoid pack. So this is the brand new OE valve body with the solenoid pack of 2011 and up. And again, the valve body configurations have changed, so you can't use this below 2011. <clears throat> Otherwise it will flag code uh, for the overdrive solenoid. All right, and I don't know if I ever mentioned when I worked on these RFEs, these here are pressure taps. But, you know, how do you check the pressure when the pan is up? Well, you gotta buy a special pan and put the pan up and, there's, um, and then you buy the hoses attached for it uh, that you can check the pressures right at the valve body. I do not have those tools and um, I never really had a need to do that as yet. All right, here is the instruction sheet that comes with the valve body. And here's my valve body that I rebuilt with the white connector, which is okay to use it. All right, and this actually is gonna go back. I'm gonna take this off. I spoke to my supplier, put the original pack back on, and he's gonna allow me to return this. And just don't forget, change this plate, the slide plate. Change the solenoid pack on a 99 to 2003. All right, one more shot of these uh, OD wiped out frictions. Again, quick learn. Is, is a must on this end. And this is the 4C clutch, which really doesn't look too bad, but this CVI was 18. I mean, it was way under. Right after I did the quick learn, it went from 18 to 48, which is pretty much what it should be. The CVIs all are, are perfect, all within range. <clears throat> so I just want to give that little tip on these 68 RFEs with the P0. 871 overdrive pressure switch rationality on the 68 RFEs high mileage cars um, more than likely you're dealing with a bad uh, valve body uh, warped, you know, warped channel plate here and a worn out solenoid switch valve all right now I've also had heard reports that you can put the oversized switch valve in the end plugs and that also didn't fix it. So I think the best thing to do is just put a valve body and solenoid pack on. Um, the solenoid pack I had bought, this one is, um, I think, you know, it was, could have been around two, could have been around like 260, uh, something like that. And, and the valve body uh, from my supplier was just a little over 400, so it's just a difference of a hundred and something dollars because I'm going to be returning that and it's uh, well worth uh, the price. So in the future now, um, this actually may be what I'm going to do on every rebuild because these things come in, they may have high mileage on them or they may come back to me under warranty and then I'm going to have to put the valve body in it. All right, so again, 68 RFE, this was a 2015 Dodge Ram 3500. P0871, traced it back to a bad valve body. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one.